Hey, I'm Stephen from Pocket Innovations. Today we're going to be making a signal generator using an Arduino and testing it with the pocket meter to show that we're able to not only build the signal generator but also debug and show that it works with the pocket meter. Links are in the description for code and also there's also links for pocket meter itself and the Arduino kit which includes all of the parts that we're going to be using to build this circuit. So, uh, to build this uh, DAC, we have four 220 ohm resistors, five 1 kilo ohm resistors, and one 10K resistor. I've also uh, gone to the liberty of getting a um, 400, uh, sorry, 100 nanofarad um, capacitor, which isn't included in our Arduino kit, but the rest of the parts are because that helps smooth the signal. So if you do have uh, on hand a uh, 100 nanofarad capacitor, that really helps. Uh, obviously, we have our pocket meter and our mobile phone with the application. We have an Arduino for our kit five, uh, well in our case, red leads, uh, one, uh, sorry, two, geez, two orange and one yellow. Uh, it's arbitrary what colors you choose, as long as you follow some kind of standard, so you don't get confused in the wiring. Okay, so to build it, simply put a few resistors in series. So you put the 220s in series because we're creating a what's known as an R2R bridge. But in our case, using the resistor sizes, it's more like an R4R bridge, but that doesn't really matter. So it's quite simple to just put some in series. And then you put the 1K resistors across the breadboard like so. And the 10K, which is our brand reference, we're just gonna put on the first pin, bit zero of the R2R DAC. So this yellow lead will be our positive connection, which we'll just put on the final bit. And we'll make one of these orange leads our ground ground here and then the next ground from the Arduino ground pin or near port B. That's correct. Oh. And now the, the the wiring order of these is very important. So you want to the, the one closest to the ground starts the one furthest away. So it's kind of a reverse order wiring.
Now we should have a jack. So let's test it with the pocket meter. So we're going to attach the positive lead to our positive connection point, negative lead to a negative connection point. You can see voltage goes up and down because it's an AC signal and we're in DC mode. So if we go to oscilloscope, and reacquire. Oh, it looks like we wired it wrong. So this is why it's useful to have a pocket meter. <laughs> okay, so let me have a look what I've done wrong here. Resistors look correct. So it must be the wiring order that I've gotten wrong. There we go. So now that the wiring order is correct, you can see that it's producing the correct waveform. It's a little bit choppy because it's only a 5-bit um, DAC, but that can be improved by the addition of this capacitor. If you connect the capacitor between ground and the, a, a, the AC output pin, you can see that it smooths the waveform quite a bit. So if you go re with this firmware on this uh, Arduino, if you restart it, it will give you a different waveform at random. So you can see this is a sine wave when you can pinch and drag that, reacquire a nice looking sine wave. So that's it. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you again for the next Arduino project.